I'm Pete Kutzer with the Orvis Fly Fishing Schools. Today, I wanna to show you a couple techniques for indicator fishing when you're out on the water. This is commonly called high sticking, but basically I'm fishing with a strike indicator right here, and then perhaps a weighted fly, maybe two weighted flies. Now, when I'm fishing this way, I wanna to try to avoid as many tangles like that as I possibly can. So I wanna limit the amount of casting that I'm doing. One way to do that is with a simple water haul. But once you make this presentation, you have to get your rod tip up so you can mend that line and control that drift. You want a natural dead drift, and with your rod tip high, hence the name high sticking, we can now control that line. Once that indicator gets down below us, we're then gonna follow it with our rod tip. We can start to lower our rod down and let out a little bit of line. So I make that simple water haul, sending it upstream. I start to lift my rod tip up. Notice I'm also stripping in a little bit of line. I can make that nice easy mend right there and I follow it. I'm following that indicator, maybe one more mend. Now I start to lower my rod. I can feed out a little bit more line and then I can let that indicator swing out. That's gonna get those flies that were bouncing along the bottom to rise up in the water column. And that's where a lot of the, these strikes will happen. So I make that easy water haul. I lift this rod up, peel that line off the water, nice easy flip. As that indicator comes closer to me, I gotta manage this line. So I'm stripping in some line, raising my rod tip up, make that easy mend. Now I follow it and now I can begin to lower this rod down. Flip out a little bit of line so I get a nice long natural drift. And now I'm gonna let it swing out and I'm gonna make that cast again. When I'm doing this nymph fishing, I can actually grit out the water and do a cast close to me, right here. But when I make that cast a little bit closer to me, I gotta strip in this line a little bit more, maybe get my rod a little bit higher. If I have a lot of slack line here, it's gonna be really hard to set that hook. So I gotta have good line control. So when I make that flip close to me, I'm gonna strip this line in a lot more than I may mend. I'm right here now, if the fish took, quick lift right there, and I could potentially hook that fish. When I start to get this indicator rig further away, that's when that mend is gonna become even more important. I gotta peel that line up, peel it up, and place it down above that indicator so I can get that nice natural drag-free drift. I can then flip out a little bit of line here, get that nice sweep, and now I can start that process all over again. So a nice easy flip with that water haul as that fly and that indicator comes closer to you, strip in a little bit of line. Once it gets across from you, nice easy mend. I'm still following that indicator with my rod tip. Now I can start to lower that line down, feed out a little bit of line, and now let it swing out and hopefully catch a couple fish. Once you make that cast and you raise this rod tip up, I'm keeping my focus on this strike indicator. If I see that strike indicator, stop, shoot underneath the water, do anything unnatural, I'm gonna set the hook. This is a visual game of fishing. You're not necessarily gonna feel that fish grab until you're down here towards that swing. If a fish grabs up here, you'll see that indicator stop, shoot underneath the water. So I make that flip, lift my rod tip up, as it gets closer to me, that's when I make a mend. If I saw that indicator shoot underneath the water, I'd set that hook. When you set that hook, if there's my indicator, I wanna tighten that line up. What I don't wanna do is set the hook upstream. Notice it'll just fold this line over itself if I set the hook that way. You're not gonna get a good hook set on that fish. So when you make this cast upstream, if I lift this rod up and I see that indicator shoot underneath the water, I'm gonna set down and across my body this way. Once that indicator gets down below, that's when I can start to lift this rod to set that hook and hit myself in the face. So again, I make that nice easy flip. As it comes down, I saw it go under, quick hook set. If it wasn't a fish, I can just make that easy cast or turn it right into a cast, send it right back into that zone and keep on fishing. This is a great way to catch a lot of fish and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.